Greetings, viewers of Shelfside. It is I, Daniel, here to paint some Gloomhaven uh, minis. I don't even know why you can see that, but I've never painted minis before in my god dang life. Let's see what happens when uh, I learn a bit on the fly with Ashton as uh, my guide. My guide! First of all, this water bottle is here because I am literally, I'm still going right now actually, I'm gonna tape the mini to the top of that. And now I'm aware that this is a strat, perhaps not the way I'm doing it right now. I mean also, oh my gosh, ketchup's not working, this is a terrible idea. But yeah, first up, we are gonna paint the Mind Thief, because my friend Jack plays this. I gotta make sure it's real secure, this is gonna be a pain in the ass to take off. For the next mini, I'll show you what I did for mine. But yeah, also, instead of a magnifying glass or something like proper you'd use for this, I'm just using my phone and it's just zoomed in like crazy, so that's how I'm gonna make out the super fine details. I'm gonna be painting it being like, mmm, yes, brand new, oh wow. Yeah, we got these paints over here, some of Ashton's paints, I don't know what brand these, Citadel? There's Citadel, there's Games Workshop. Okay, well I'm assuming that's legit as hell. I, I, try, I, I have no idea what I'm doing, alright? They're gonna be really caked up, Daniel's gonna have to water the down like crazy. <gasps> Okie dokie. Let's, uh, let's get a glob, like, sure, what the fuck? How do you even get a glob with this? How did you do this? Dude, what the f Oh, that is chunky. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh, man. I feel like I just put in water first at this point, Jesus. Water at this point, yeah. Yeah, that is like a... Alright. That, 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 that. Can I break up this glob? Good god. I can't really break that. Yeah, it's, it's just okay. solid. <laughs> get a nice coating on the entire thing and just uh, let's have at it. Bet, 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 bet. Oh my god, it's so watery. It's not even saying no at all. God, that looks... Terrible. When I say if you're a noob, you should be using good paints, so then you know you don't have to like be as precise, you know. But here at shelf side, we have no money, so okay. Well, this is definitely exactly the shit I was looking for, so at least that's good. Well, I mean, I'm just kind of like, what the fuck? Some of the details are just gone. Like, God, I fucking drowned the little rats. You can't even tell it's a little rat, it looks like a bump now. Okay, well, I'll try to get off the bits that are like okay. insanely just like flopped up, so. Oh, that's some loss of detail in the back of his cute little fur. Is I any anything just like a blunt, like, battering ram shaped object that I can just smash into this, because the, the back of the brush is not cutting it. Hey guys, Danny from the future here. Uh, just here to tell you that, turns out, having a metric crap ton of footage of just me painting would be just really goddamn boring. So instead what we're gonna do is I'm gonna voice over my thought process and fast forward a bunch of footage we got. So, basically, uh, from the little knowledge I did have of a painting, my first thought was like, okay, let's just color the whole thing just to the color of his fur that I wanted, so it was like this darker gray that I think I made out mixing the really crappy black and white paints. And from there on, I was like, okay. I kind of looked at it like imagining, say, like Photoshop layering, except you can't switch around the layers. It's ready? Yes, I'm, I, I give up. I mean, it's done. Exhibit B, the Mine Thief. This turned out so fucking different than how I thought it would look. Right shoulder and right foot, there's like two rats there. Oh yeah, I see the rats. I, I fucking, I, I don't know how to make them look better, cause like fucking, I cannot zoom in, I can't zoom in enhance, enhance, my eyes aren't CIA Miami. And then you take Kyle, and you just stick him on, yeah. Okay, we are moving on to Kyle, I mean, uh, Crackheart. Uh, people aren't gonna get that, but basically if you look at his belt, we'll put like a picture of him somewhere over here. Yeah. Uh, if you look at the symbols on it, it kinda looks like it says Kyle. And so we're like, what's a fucked up fancy way we can pronounce Kyle? And like my friend Rose is like, we'll call him Kyle. Mind Thief took about two and a half hours. It did? Yeah. It's like 1.30. Yeah, bro, I have that shit. Oh, I can see fucking bubbles because of how shitty this paint is. Oh god, I don't even know where to begin with what went wrong. Uh, I got really impatient because I was really annoyed with what I had to do for the Mind Thief's paint. So for the crack car, I ended up watering it down too much. It, it, I think it's like the worst paint job that just kind of accidentally turned out to just be fine. So we decided to skip over filming a bunch of those the minis because my god, it took really long. I am very slow. Also, these paints are trash. They're horrible. So it's been a few days, as you can tell, wearing completely new clothes. It's done. Not all of them, though, actually. I didn't paint the bro, so we're going to put him aside. I don't know why he's there. But everything else, though, I did do the painting. So let's just... Pull them all out of the box. So let's first yeah. start with you know, the mind thief. Do 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 do. Poop poop poop. Look at him. Okay, little okay, little okay. rat, little rat bastard. And we got Korag Hart, the Rock Man. Yeah. These are the two I did in Ashton Studio. We only got footage for the mind thief because realized this is probably boring as hell to just have like me sitting there for like hours on end just doing nothing but painting these things. The rest of these three, 
I went and did at a home. Here's the first one Ashton hasn't seen, I'm pretty sure. So Tinkerer. Yeah, pretty excited. I've never seen this before. Tinkerer. As you probably can tell immediately, there's way more just random detail and just stuff. See that little dagger there and all this like the buckles and other random weird stuff? Like, yeah, dude, nice. Also look at the back, like, oh man, I buckled it all up, man. I like the, the crossbow, I think that's pretty sick. Oh, yeah. Next guy is Scoundrel. I think this one, in my opinion, is the one that came out the fucking best. Like, okay. holy shit, this took me like four hours to do. This one is like insane, actually, in my opinion. Oh, wow. I like it. Look at how deep down the arm rush, it's crazy. I don't know why I did that, it took forever to do. Look at that, boom. Nice. And then Spellweaver, which I fucking hate, but I think I actually did a good job, but whatever. Yeah, this is probably the hardest. Yeah, I don't think uh, I did it as much justice as like Sex Tinkerer and Scoundrel, but at least like I did I did a thing. Oh, god damn it. Okay, the things I knew I was gonna do this. Also, I was trying forever to figure out what the hell I should do with the colors on that. Also, I realized I have no idea how to paint fire. That was weird. I just kind of was like, fuck it. You know what? It looks enough like fire. <laughs> Turn around. Oop, 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 oop. Your paints suck, by the way. Yeah, my paints suck. Now it looks less like a bird, though, which is good. That's, uh, it was probably like 10 hours or something of painting in total, so that's, that's quite, maybe more than that. I was not doing math. This, this took like, what, like, two days in total, I think? I did it. I'm glad. These are my first ever painted minis ever. So I think I did pretty, pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. You know? Mm-hmm. Very humble. Very, very humble. Let's talk about the paints. Yeah, let's talk about how bad the paints are. Yeah, so uh, the reason why I'm especially proud of myself, even though I'm like, I could have done better with these, but that's because in my opinion, the paints are god awful. So here's just two examples that I just brought up. I remember these one being particularly a giant paint in the butt to work with. So this is brown that I basically use for leather for everything. Vermin brown. Look, look at that. That's just, oh god. <laughs> It's like, it's, yeah, it's like caked calcified blood, you know, it's just, God. This is what I'd have to do, like, so like, can you hear this, by the way? Oh, yeah. So I just, I would just have to do that for a while, <laughs> to break off a few chunks. Hey, look, a chunk. So yeah, oh my God. there's my chunk. All right, I'll just, I'll just put it in there, or whatever. I know it's not going into, you know, the holes, but, yeah, so I'll get the chunk there, and then I would drip some water onto it, and just, just go like that until it was this mush like this one is maybe a little bit more like you know sludgy and not just a rock but it's still like pretty that, that is that is a chunk <laughs> pretty much all of your paints every time i put them in there i would have to mash them up with a crap load of water cracker got especially fucked because a lot of the paint on him that dry was really watery so it just kind of dripped everywhere so he lost a lot of his texture mm. on the plus side though hilariously enough it looks like a lot of rocks because <laughs> he is a rocky dude well yeah. yeah that's my first time ever painting minis with my abhorrently shitty knowledge of what the hell i was doing at, at some time i suggested that we just go ahead and buy new paints because it was taking him so long but for the sake of this video we wanted to have him use the ancient paints these are like 10 plus years old yeah honestly it was kind of entertaining and funny at first but after a while <laughs> like when i got to like the tinker i was just like this is, this is AIDS. I, I hate everything right now. Oh my God. It was unbearable, but I, I went through with it. I, I'm honest, this is why I'm impressed with it. I'm like, how did, how did I manage to get this out of these crappy paints? That's it. My first painting experience. Uh, I'm not sure what I learned. I don't know if you learned anything. Hopefully this was fun to watch. This video was weird. Uh, see you all on the next one. Goodbye. This is Shelfside out. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a good day. Yeah. We're going to play some Gluhaven with these minis. It's going to be sick.